Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna to be covering the open source machine. So from a high level, I'm just gonna be dropping a quick disclaimer, doing an overview of some of the statistics we have for the machine, four really quick tips, some speculation about what I think the machine is gonna be about. And then I'm gonna cover what was talked about on the forums and what that kind of suggested box might be about. So stick around for the video, let's get into it. Hello world, we're going to be jumping into the open source preliminary machine today. So starting from the top, as a disclaimer, I haven't turned the machine on, haven't end mapped it, haven't even started an instance, I've done nothing with it, haven't touched it. All right, secondly, let's look at a quick overview of the machine. So we can see it has a 4.4 rating. Okay, this is pretty good. I like to see ratings, four plus, of course, if it's below four, then sometimes, you know, it's maybe a little more difficult for the suggested category, or it's gonna have a lot of twists and turns and it's gonna be more complicated. Um, so since the drop, it's been about 24 hours, we have 169 user owns, 142 system owns. So that's not bad, um, but that definitely suggests that this is probably closer to the medium difficulty, which although being listed as an easy machine, we can tell it's uh, the user base has given it 19 votes for medium so far, as opposed to the seven for easy or two for very easy, okay? First blood goes to Jazz, pizzas per user at 57 minutes and system blood at an hour and 40 or hour and 39 minutes so this is probably gonna be a pretty difficult uh, machine if it took a top player uh, you know an hour to get user and then an hour and a half to get root right jumping over to the statistics of things we can see that we are more in the direction of a CVE um, and real a real world scenario and that's kind of what the author has evaluated this machine for and that's what the the people who have completed this machine have kind of evaluated the machine for and we can see we scroll down here and sure enough majority of votes of course are leading towards medium all right so four quick tips first get your friends get on discord can use your automated tools auto recon and map automator if you need more suggestions just jump in discord ask some questions Thirdly, really leverage the community. I know there's tons of resources out there, uh, especially on the Hack the Box website, the forums, the Hack the Box Discord. You have your Mr. John Hammonds, your Ipsex, all these wonderful people trying to propagate this valuable information. Make sure you really tap into that in the communities. Lastly, take notes. I use Cherry Tree. Really helps because you're probably not going to solve the box in one sitting. You're going to need to come back to it. All right, jumping into the speculation of what I think this box is about. So I initially have a feeling that this is, I mean, obviously the name suggests open source right I'm assuming there's gonna be some open source software and with that a CVE that we're gonna to have to kind of fixate on I think secondly I think this could also be some type of github code review so perhaps we connect to this box and learn about a git repo and we have to look at this git repo which is maybe just something really specific or or simple designed for this lab and we have to review the code and it's more about finding a simple vulnerability as opposed to like a CVE and who knows there might even be the option to use um, Metasploit here or or to perform the exploit manually because we do have that open source element and we do have that easy level element. All right, last thing I think is that there's a chance this machine is to do with unsafe credential storage. I've just found historically on Hack the Box and other like websites that with open source software when it is presented in an intentionally vulnerable environment, often you are pulling out credentials, you're figuring out where they're stored and how they're hashed, you're cracking them. All right, jumping into the forums of things, lastly, I noticed on the forums people were talking about a mystery port. So really make sure that you're doing those nmap scans, you're doing them in depth, you're, you're using those automated tools, you're doing your enumeration one step further. So that's gonna mean things like all ports using a stealth scan, doing your UDP scans. Okay, lastly, the thing I noticed is there was some suggestion of some type of possible local file inclusion or some uh, directory traversals. So this already makes me think that this could be a vulnerability in the open source software and we're gonna have to possibly perform some type of directory enumeration or, or a like or a semi local file inclusion to find something on the box. So whether we're going after the proc folder to see what ports are running or we're going after the Etsy shadow to find some passwords or we're going for users SSH key. Other than that, that's it. That wraps up this video. Good luck everyone working on the open source machine. And always remember, if you need some help, we need to ask some questions, you need some pointers, because maybe you're new or you're a noob, 
feel free to just jump in our Discord. We have a thriving community. We'd love to have you join. Have a great weekend and happy Hack the Boxing, everyone.